What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be creating dummy data for our uh, database, our bike store database. And the way that you want to create dummy data is go down into the link down below my video and go to sqlservertutorial.net. And what you wanna do is you want to download this SQL server sample database data and you want to run this, uh, you want to run these scripts. So these are gonna be really simple scripts and store these, you could store these like in your downloads, you could store these pretty much anywhere, but go ahead, just go ahead and download those and we're going to run these against our bike store. And special shout out to sqlservertutorial.net for putting out these SQL scripts, very useful and if you want to, make sure to check them out, maybe follow some of their content and um, just give them a shout out as well because they do, uh, a lot of these SQL server blogs put out great content and allow us to you know, have these cool little scripts to work off of. So very, very grateful for them. Next thing that you wanna do is you wanna go here and we want to actually start getting out our scripts. Now I stored mine in documents, you can store yours wherever you want to. We're not gonna be running all of these. We want to create uh, our objects. So gr go here first, we're gonna click create our objects um, and we want to run this against our bike stores. Ve this is probably one of the most important points of, uh, <laughs> very simple but very important point. Make sure you're running it, do not run it against your master. Make sure you're running against your bike stores because I have run stuff against my master before and you do not want to do that. That's a big no-no. Do not want to do that. And uh, we'll go through here and we'll actually delete some of these and we're going to actually recreate some of them just for practice sake and so that you kind of you kind of know what's going on. But in this case, uh, we're just going to go ahead and run it. So go ahead, click the execute and should complete successfully. Next thing you want to do is you want to go here, you want to refresh and look to make sure that it actually created those tables and it did and look at all those beautiful tables. But the bad thing is uh, there's no data in them. So click, if you want to see if there is data in there, go to select the top 1000 rows and indeed there's no data in any of these tables. So tables like i said are the excel spreadsheets that are inside of the database key point always remember that tables are different from databases tables are the excel spreadsheet of your databases and uh databases are nothing more than excel spreadsheets that are tied together with keys always remember that point if you don't remember anything about this course just remember databases are no uh database tables are no different from excel spreadsheets except they have keys and we'll talk more about keys in another video, but uh, for right now, just go through here and check and make sure. So we've got, and I just opened up way too many scripts here. I'm just gonna close out all these scripts. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go back and we need to um, actually load all the data. We need to put data into these. So we're also going to um, <clears throat> put data into them and just, so just open that script. There should be nothing else that you want to do to it. Also, remember we created our data. If you don't know how to create a database, go uh, go to my previous video and we're gonna go ahead and s set up that dummy data and um, we're gonna populate it, insert into our tables. So we're gonna go ahead, run that and everything looks good. We have zero errors. If you have errors, um, like I said, make sure you're executing against the bike stores and not the uh, master DB. So we're gonna go through here, go to select the top thousand rows and we have all of our data inserted into our tables. Isn't that great? Anyway, that's gonna be the video on how to create dummy data. And this is the database table that we're gonna work with uh, for our project. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.